So good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are viewing us from, we want to welcome you to the Executive Mansion. And uh, this is the official page of the Executive Mansion. And uh, we are coming to you live from the palace of the Executive Mansion. Uh, as you may be aware, His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Shortly be meeting the players of the national team of Liberia, the Lone Star. Um, the Lone Star will be taking on Djibouti tomorrow at the Samuel Kanyan Lone Star Complex. So, as a man of courtesy, they are here to have some words with His Excellency, the President. So, as you see on the screen, some players of the national team. Unfortunately, we cannot call their names now, but they are here in their numbers. In the, the national color of Liberia, and uh, very shortly the president will be arriving. Very shortly the president will be arriving, and then uh, the meeting continues from there. Well, let me say we are here. My name is Ernesto, but I'm here with uh, Joseph Blacky, who was on camera. We are teaming up uh, in place of uh, Emmanuel Keeper, who is now with us today. So, it is an honor to be on your screen live from the executive mansion, from the palace of the executive mansion. So they are here with officials from the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the the technical team as well. There's the training staff, as you can see. The training staff, the national team, sorry. And then we um, also have the coaches. Uh, the coaches, as you can see on the screen, these are the coaches of the national team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't see Kevin Sidney. One time player is, uh, is part of the technical team of the Lone Star Liberia. Also, just uh, taking a little bit, like uh, recently, the Lone Star Liberia defeated Djibouti. Uh, the game was played in Rabat, Morocco. So, the return leg is tomorrow, for the, that would be at the SKD. And, uh, I encourage you all Liberians to to make their way to the SKD for the purpose of uh, uh, giving their team the support in the last six presidents and presidents they down. So we are here all is set and uh, we are expecting to receive the president of the Republic okay. His Excellency so, arriving yeah, very shortly. Okay. So for the back one, you wouldn't need the operators up there. The boys in here the rest start of the other uh, protocol. Okay. And the executive so, manager of Cleo Comis. I'll give you some housekeeping here. You can please retire. You know the photographer and the time security will be allowed to stand in this room. Thank you. Let's see my man. My uncle, my colleague. My uncle, my colleague. It's one of the the main thing that's there of the little star is here. I want to spot up the team and so call the things that's So these are the faces. These are the faces you might have right there on your screen. The team is actually going to the SKD and making more of the courage of that game. And by the all they support the channel tomorrow. They support the original day. As you take on your body, as you ask me, they are always smiling. 
Yeah, that's bad. But it's one down, one more to go. Half the job done. Eh? Michael, welcome. How are you doing? Your expectation for tomorrow's game? Uh, I'm sure I'm optimistic that we're going to win. Thank you. The voice of Michael McCauley is optimistic. He's expressing optimism in Liberia. It's going to be victorious. How are you doing? Hey, welcome to Executive Mansion Television. What is your name? My name is Murphy Darling. Oh, Murphy, welcome. Thank you. Tomorrow's game, why is your expectation? What are the Liberian people should expect of tomorrow's game? Uh, uh, they should expect uh, nothing less than victory tomorrow. Expect nothing less than victory tomorrow. That's the voice of. So what's your name again, Murphy? Murphy, Murphy, Murphy Dolly. So how many goals if you were to predict, Murphy? What? How many goals if you were to predict? We won the first game by two. Uh, what should I grant us? I I cannot predict no more goals, but I shall win tomorrow. Okay, can predict by goals, definitely win. Yes, sir. Victory tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Should Liberian start believing in this new look Lone Star? Uh, sure, for sure. We want Liberian people to believe in this team and I see the prospect of this team. We are going for one. Okay. All right, thank you. Hello, Chief. How are you? What's your name? Your name? Freeman Johnson. Freeman Johnson? Chauncey. Chauncey Freeman. Yes. Okay. How, how does it feel being here on the council of the executive mansion, meeting the president of the program Liberia? It's a pleasure to be here and we look forward to meeting him here. You know, going back to our work. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Chief? How are you? You're good. Your name for the watching public? Manuel Dene. Manuel Dene. Um, how does it feel being here? And uh, what what do like what should librarians expect from the Lone Star tomorrow? Uh, it's a job being here. And promise them victory tomorrow. Promise them victory tomorrow. Hello. Thank you. Chief. How are you? Your name? Uh, no one can. Mm? No Working at Noah. Um, so, what should we expect from, like, from you tomorrow? Okay, positive. Yes. Please bear the eyes as we await His Excellency momentarily. And I want the press to please stay poor. They will have to move into a photograph, move and do it, and move back to the way Thank you. So, thank you very much. So, uh, His Excellency President Joseph Newman Baka will shortly be arriving right here in the palace. And uh, as soon as the President arrives, uh, then uh, the interaction begins with the players at the national day. Uh, we have uh, with us here the communication officer at uh, the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Welcome to Executive Mansion. How are you doing? Thank you. Can you please just for the video public call your name? My name is P. Oxford Brown. I'm the director of public affairs at the Ministry of Investments. Mr. Brown, uh, you guys are yet to meet the president. Exactly what is it, what is it about? I think we are here, I mean, for 
president, uh, to meet with the, the national team. You know that uh, on tomorrow, the national team will be taking on Djibouti in the second leg march of the preliminaries. And so uh, it's good enough uh, to have uh, the president of Liberia meet with uh, the national team to give them that motivation and encouragement. So uh, how are preparation for tomorrow game? Well, uh, I think uh, the boys are in our spirit. Uh, they are prepared for tomorrow's game. And we're hoping that they will come up with a flying colors tomorrow. So why should we bring to expect victory? Absolutely. We I propose to expect nothing less than victory. Prediction is not a good thing, boys. It's I choose not to predict uh, football. You, you just can't predict. But uh, what I do know is sure that we're going to win tomorrow. What about publicity for tomorrow's match? You know, um, you've been around for a while, and um, during the late nineties, there was always this huge publicity around football matches being played in the country. Uh, have the LFA and the Ministry of Youth and Sport done so much in terms of publicity for tomorrow's match. In fact, this mo just this morning, uh, the Minister of Youth and Sports, uh, one of uh, Jericho Bangalore, was on EOBC talking about this game, and I think yeah, tickets are up already. So yes, publicity, publicity is, is, is ongoing. And you know that we are encouraging every Liberians to turn up in the numbers. Um, to support the national team. Okay. Um, point or so for tickets where people can get their tickets? Well, I can't be exact, but I think tickets are being sold uh, to various stations. And, you know, but again, uh, it's on uh, the, 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 the LFA is in charge of ticket, ticket, ticket and marketing. And so uh, they can speak to that. Uh, just just for the record and for clarity, can you just tell the librarian people, what is it? Is it, a, is it a, are they playing the matches or? Uh, this is the, the preliminary. Uh, to the to the group stage of the uh, of Afco. African Afco, yeah, yeah, African combination. So this is the preliminary. So if no star uh, um, beat Chiputi, I mean uh, uh, to, uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. it means that they'll get into the group stage. Of, okay. Of, then that's when we'll be drawn in yes, a group. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So this is we having been drawn in a group. No, yet, not, not This yet. is playing to be put in a pot to be drawn in a group. Absolutely. And after that, you start playing the qualifiers now. Of course. Yes. And this is for Afcon. Yeah, I've got yeah. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Your name? My name is P. Oxford Brown. Okay, Mr. Brown. Thank you for speaking. You're yeah, always welcome. All right. Thank you, sir. So, we'll be taking bits and pieces of these interviews as we are waiting for the arrival of the. And so, we are, we are still here. We are still here. The palace at the executive mansion and waiting the arrival of His Excellency. As we can see from the look of things, uh, the president will momentarily be with us. Uh, the, uh, so, we will be here and uh, see the see the political advice of His Excellency Madeira Kuko just walking along with the U.S. Post Minister Kobago. There they go. So it means that um, President Kwaka will soon be arriving uh, for the presumption of the very important meeting with the loose start of Liberia. And so we are here to uh, the executive commission teach. Uh, we are here uh, fitting for Emmanuel Kepa, who could not be with us this afternoon. But never mind. Never mind. So we are here again. Uh, what is set for the arrival of His Excellency the President? And uh, anytime the President gets in uh, the meeting for the starting, and uh, as you rightly heard right from the the director of public affairs at the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Tomorrow again is a uh, preliminary of the African Cup of Nations. And uh, in case Liberia makes it true, it means that they will be placed in the group stage uh, anytime. So it means that they will be placed in the group stage. You can make a way to the summer time post postcode. So watch the
Our representative of the House, Mr. Right. Minister of Youth and Sport, and other members of the high table, the team, technical members, may I announce the round of the presidency, the President of the Republic of Liberia. <laughs> That uh, the meeting sees Mr. Evans for Excellency Ambassador Joseph Yuma Walker, President of the Republic of Liberia. Chairman Executive House of the Representatives of the Republic of Liberia, other government officials here present, this is the Deputy Minister for Sports, and I recognize those guests because I know the Minister of State and the political uh, advisor and others are hosting us. But in any case, Ambassador Grigsby, I'd like to recognize you and members of the Ministry of State family, Deputy Minister Henry Yonton, Mr. Mustafa R. Raji, President of the Liberia Football Association, and Executive Committee members, the team. Your Excellency, can you permit me to invite the President of the Liberia Football Association? Mr. Mutaba Raji to introduce the technical staff and the team. Mr. Raji. Thank you very much. His Excellency Ambassador Joseph Lima Barta. Members of the House of Representatives present, Minister of Sports, uh, the Minister of State, um, members of the Executive Committee, members of the press, our national team players, members of the technical staff. Hi. His Excellency, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you your national team players of the uh, senior national team, the Lone Star, and its technical staff uh, at the Ministry of State. Thank you very much. Your Excellency would like to inform you that a few days ago, based on your mandate and instruction as Chief Patron of Sports, you entreated the team to go to Morocco and defeat Djibouti without any regret. 
As Minister of Human Sports, I'd like to report to you that that mandate was fully executed. The team under the watchful eye of our new head coach, Mario, and Mario, please step. Mario, Mario, and the technical staff was able to defeat Djibouti two goals to zero. What that means, what that means is as we are winning Djibouti tomorrow in the return leg, this team automatically will advance for the zonal stage of the AFCO 2025. Your intervention has been a boost to this team. We must appreciate you and commend you. As not only a Lone Star fan, but Arsenal fan, we would like to assure you that your desire to see Lone Star participate in the African Cup next year is well on course. Like I said, thank you for the support. And Your Excellency, we are here at your call. Thank you very much. Earlier, you heard the voice of the President of the Liberia Football Association. So, His Excellency, will at this moment respond. Excellency, the President of the Republic. It's about to make remarks. Mr. Ford, representative of the meeting in the House, now, the representative of the coach, players, now, dear friend, who have been behind this, want to thank you all. Please, I will see. In the meantime, uh, before we go into what we have to say, I'd like to understand for a moment of silence. I have uh, our goalkeeper, one goalkeeper. I think uh, past yesterday, so just for a moment of time. The name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit. So, let me thank all of you and congratulate you for the pride that you brought to us. I did call. I got to speak to you, but also in Ghana, uh, the public who were there. And I want to thank everybody who is here. Maybe I didn't have the fortune of the uh, Allied sport, especially soccer, football, but I didn't have the fortune of playing today. But I love success story. I love to see people do the best in what they want that they supposed to do. But I also understand that to do that best, we who have the responsibility to support them should be committed. Because in no way you're gonna let you play and do your best without us giving you the support. I have always told the story about watching a movie, the Dr. Fireman, and the military man in command told the people, here, yeah, whatever you need is here. What you don't, if what is not here, you don't need. That's the way I like it. If you're going to make people do their best, you must give them what it takes for them to do. 
I don't like people going to play and they have to worry whether they will have money after the game. That's why we should do good planning. And we should have good people, responsible people who are going to manage them and people who want for them to succeed. Here in Liberia, everything is about eating money, eating money, eating money, everywhere. And you expect the people to do well, but you hold back. You make them play, they don't, you don't even plan for their future. None of the players in Liberia, I mean, you just hear the present part, there's nothing, no future for them. Under this administration, we're going to make sure that these things are put into place. We want, we want to have a team, we should have a team, we should care for the team, we should make sure that the future of the young player is also planned. Because they committed their time, their talents, and they do have families. So what happened to them? If they are playing, their children have to go to school. If they are playing, they have families, they have relatives, they have responsibilities. So I don't want to be involved in anything that doesn't go all the way to making sure if we support them, they don't perform, they will be responsible for that. But I'm not here for fun, for play, to play people playing with you, they're not going to be involved with that. This game that you want to play was just about five days away when they told us to we mobilize. That's not the way we're going to function. We plan and we plan for what we're going to do. In any case, we are very proud of you. Look, we claim to be the oldest republic. Look at all the countries that have been hosting the African Cup and so forth. Where are we? Are we going to always just be trying and failing, trying and failing? This time around, we commit to you and we want to tell you that once we are involved in it, we will make sure we will pull all the strength to make you succeed. Uh, outside here, we have very good connection. You know very well that for me, my team is Asna, and, uh, and we, we have a lot of resources that we can pull to your benefit. As long as you are committed to play, and we tell the minister and all of those associated with sport, with good planning, with serious planning, and good commitment, we're willing to work with you. I see a good friend of mine, Uncle Kelvin uh, Sigmund. Uh, whom I haven't seen for a long time. This is no politics. If we're going to play, let's play. I have said that in this country and at this time, every county headquarter must have good sport stadium for the young people. I want the young people, I want the young people, I want the young people, I want the young people to have a full life. You go to county, they probably want to be superintendent. There's nothing, no life we can. What in education and whatever we do, we should do it so that in the future you can show that at least the young girl can show that during their early days they participated in this and that. But we are far behind. And this time around, we're not going if we're not there, we're not there. But we have to make sure. And I'm telling the minister, if it's not time to play, I don't want to be associated with failure. Our legislators, all of us, if you go going out field to watch the game, you want the people to play, you should support them. You can't have them there, oh, we got money here to do that, we don't, we're not here for that. You either want a team or you don't want it. So it's no in between. So I just want to show you that I'm not concerned about what happened in the past, but this time around, I'm going to make sport work. I'm going to support you. I'm going to make sure that you show the talent that you have.
Everybody here that is associated with it, okay, come to us with good planning, good support. You. We want to make sure our team itself, want to make sure that it brings us here to this country. It's been a long time. So thank you for what you've done so far. Tomorrow we'll be on the field to see you. I watched a game one time when I was beaten, when uh, like you were playing Cody Boy, when they scored the goal and they were leading Cody Boy just for the end, for us to be disappointed. But when I listened that you were leading to go, I was praying. <laughs> <laughs> and you kept that behind you. Want to congratulate you. We're proud of you. And I'm sure, be proud of yourself. Anything you want to do, do it well. So that history will tell that you made contribution to this country. So I just want to wish you well. Uh, we'll do the best to plan around what decision I've been made. But I'm asking them to plan well, tell us what it takes for the rest of the game, how we can prepare for them. So that tomorrow you don't go there, they tell you, oh, you didn't have a place to sleep, you don't want to be associated with them. I just want to thank you all, and we look forward to working together to make Liberia become very relevant in soccer this time around. Thank you. Thank you all of you. Thank you, Mr. President. At this moment, we will now have a photo opportunity where we begin with the technical government to ensuring that necessary soldiers provide it as a means of motivating the boys to bring sources to bring the needed victory to Liberia. The president wants things to be done uh, differently, not the same old way. So he's committing his government. Okay, so like we said, we're going to move to Sarah support to the law. It's a serious thing. So we give us the technical team. And so we are shaving back. They are shaving back because the president is walking. See some shifting up there. Got to do some rearrangement. See, the officers are directing the technical staff to come, okay, and stay. So honestly, it's uh, so it's a good photo. The president now is taking the technical staff, right? The coaches, the administrators, that's the, the ministers and the Okay, we are set. Go ahead. There you see. Thank you. The president will be standing while the team comes to the room as well. Shakes you with the with the sport of the roster. Mauricio. They are chatting. See the president smiles on his face, chatting with the coach. The team can jump. Oh, no. The president of the Liberia Football Association. Even though the team would have a separate picture after this, but you can jump.
cannot make subtle difference, but they are all in the photo now. They are all in the photo. What type of how uh, are we? The, the set? Can we come in? Hey. Yeah. Chief. You don't have to squat. Thank you. So at this moment, the LFA, the Minister of the um, Sport, and the Deputy will stand with the team and His Excellency. Minister of Sports and the President is the plane. We stand with the President. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, uh, shifting in and there. We're trying to give some arrangement uh, to position the players. Position them in the room you know, also. As you may know, um, when it comes to the presidency, it's a protocol. Never mind. But we are right on course and uh, all is set. So you guys can ask. Thank you. I said, His Excellency will not retire. That is said, so. The President will retire. It means that uh, this will go in back to so this for official news. And so let's break in some faces of the players of the Lone Star. The players of the Lone Star tomorrow, they will be in action against Djibouti. They won the first leg, two goals to zero. And uh, the few that we spoke to, the few that we spoke to, I show librarians. Uh, nothing less than victory that they will be victorious. So the president is shaking hands with the players, so then it's not about breaking down. Sorry for the shaking. Uh, so the president comes to the technical staff, so he's going to shake him. Members of the technical staff. Ms. Magnum Pushman. President now shakes hands with the technical staff. Who's that? Oh, Kyrie Sipwish. It's making the way. Okay, the president shakes hands with her. Kyrie. Very nice. Uh, uh, So the president is retiring now. He has his uh, duty. And, uh, but never mind, we are here. The players are here. We are here. The technical staff are also here. And so we are here. Even the president has just retired. And, uh,
So, 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 that's how we want to draw down the curtain. Uh, it's excellent, say, President Joseph Nimabwaka. Yes, I have some discussion with uh, the members of Liberia, uh, the President of the Liberia Football Association, Minister of Youth and Sports, and uh, Deputy Minister led the national team here. and uh, in his remarks, President Waka assured the team of his government support, pleasing uh, to ensure that Liberia flies higher, that Liberia this time around does better than he has been doing the time pass even though he said he does not want to blame anybody but he said his government is going to work hard provide all of the necessary support to the loose out of Liberia and I is also encouraging Liberians to also support their team because according to him once you are supporting, then you'll be able to have a voice and uh, put pressure on the guys to perform as adequately as possible. So tomorrow will be at the SKD. It pledge that you'll be at the SKD tomorrow to see the new star in action. And so it's also encouraging librarians to do likewise. And uh, See, chip, chip chat now, ongoing. And so, that's how we want to bring this uh, podcast to a close. On behalf of the team, the press secretary to the president, Kula Kufana, Joseph Lucky was here, Samuel Zo, and the rest of the team. My name is Alice Tobacco. Go get ready for a photo. Bye bye.